Everybody, it's Mr. D in the middle with Mr. D1 at blogspot.com with some teaching tips for lesson seven, day three, level two of uh, S Cube Middle School Sightseeing Program for Beginners. So today's uh, the preparation for the test. They're going to have a test tomorrow, and this test is really important because it, it uh, will show us, uh, we want to make sure they can show us that they can identify all sorts of notes, uh, C sharp, G flat, F flat, F sharp. Um, what is a whole step higher than that note? Um, you'll see a lot of questions in there designed to make sure they really have understanding of what a flat does to a note on the keyboard, what a sharp does to a note on a keyboard. Um, and I'm giving, them, I'm giving them the paper myself as well as projecting it so that they can sit and look and think. And if I have to do peer tutoring with them, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take as much time as we need. So I'm not doing a sight singing example today. I'm hoping that I can still get this done in 10 to 15 minutes. I think I can. Um, and then uh, once I've answered questions for them, um, then that's sort of going to function as their study guide. Um, in preparation again for building major scales so that they understand key signatures and in the future so they understand chromatic scales building it one step at a time right so then we're gonna do uh, a rhythm exercise to kind of you know just uh, pull after something intense like that I like to do something where we come together and perform something and we need to practice the 16th notes um, all the new versions, the TPTs, the TTPs, and I'm going to um, do it, uh, I'll make sure every, every choir experiences all of the different versions, TPTP, TTP, and TPT. So I'm going to pick a measure from each one, have them perform it individually to make sure they're clearly and exactly and precisely performing uh, the rhythms first, and then we'll put it together as a group. Um, and hopefully they'll be successful and they'll be listening for unisons. There are a couple of them. Um, we we p keep pointing them in those directions. We want their ears to get better. We want their uh, rhythm, rhythm performances to be clearer um, so it helps in their repertoire and they're developing independence with their singing with each rhythm example. It's the easiest way to really develop independence in the mixed choir. And then we're done. So I hope that helps you and then tomorrow will be the test. All right, have a great day.